Hello lovely one, how is this fine day treating you so far? Today's tutorial is a little bit out of the ordinary and I think you'll find it fascinating. We're gonna learn how to pull variegated yarn to make this amazing geode cow. This pattern was designed for you by Jane Vincelis and it resembles a geode. It's shimmering and colorful and quite magical really. The reason that this pattern is so cool is not only are we intentionally pooling the colors, but each color is worked in a different stitch pattern. The green section here is always worked in four by four ribbing, which lines up throughout the cowl, creating a really nice structure. And then the purple is always worked in seed stitch. So it really does create a beautiful shift and flow throughout the cowl and really does look like a geode. This pattern is a little bit different than others we offer on our site. It is more of a technique or a method rather than an exact pattern. We can't give you an exact number of stitches to cast on because in order for the colors to pool like this, you have to find your exact gauge with the yarn and the needles that you'll be using. We do have the written version of this pattern, which you can download at expressionfiberarts.com. When shopping for yarn on our site for this project, you just wanna click on the product description and then the open skein photo of the yarn. As long as you see distinct sections of color in the skein, you will be good. This is key so that when you knit around and around, the colors will pool on top of each other. We chose our June Alexandrite colorway, but any variegated yarn in any weight on our site should work for you. Once you have your yarn, the first step is to determine your gauge. What you wanna do is pull up your yarn until you have at least a full color repeat. In other words, the length of the circumference of your hank of yarn. In the example of this colorway, I need to make sure that I have pulled a strand that contains all of the purple and it runs all the way through the teal. Okay, I have the end of my yarn over here and my ball of yarn over here and I have pulled up enough yarn that I have a full section of the teal and a full section of the purple. This is the end of my purple. So you're gonna backtrack about two inches and that is where you begin your cast on. Then you're gonna use the long tail cast on method and you're gonna cast on enough stitches so that you have a full color repeat on your needle. In my case, that's gonna be a full repeat of the purple and the teal. Then add 20 stitches just to give yourself a little bit of a buffer. You wanna make sure when you're working the long tail cast on method that the tail is across your thumb and the working yarn, which is attached to the ball, is across your finger so that as you're casting on, the working yarn is what is ending up as the stitches on your needle. Then you wanna bunch your stitches up onto your needle so you can easily see the color changes. For me, I have a full repeat from the beginning of the teal all the way through to the end of the purple where the next teal section starts. So from here to here is once around my hank of yarn and that is what you want, plus a little bit of buffer on each side. Then you're gonna work a couple rows of four by four ribbing, which is just knit four, purl four, knit four, purl four. Four by four ribbing is just knit four, purl four. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to purl four. One, two, three, and four. And continue repeating that all the way down and do several rows of that. We're just getting our gauge right now. This will be worked flat, but the actual cowl will be worked in the round. Once you've done that, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Next, you're gonna squish your stitches up onto your needle and you're gonna count how many stitches there are in a complete color repeat. In my case, I would count from the beginning of the purple 
all the way through the end of the teal. Then you're going to double that number and round either up or down to the nearest multiple of eight. And that is the number of stitches you're gonna cast on to work your cowl in the round. For example, if you had 95 stitches for your complete color repeat, you would double it, which is 190, but since that is not a multiple of eight, you're going to round it to the nearest number that is, which is 192, and that is the number you would cast on for your cow. Then the concept from here on out is when you come to the purple part of the yarn, you're gonna work seed stitch, and when you come to the teal part of the yarn, you work four by four ribbing. If the setup stitch count was correct, the colors will pool like this, creating this absolutely gorgeous effect. It is so beautiful, and the really neat thing is every single one you make will look different. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you in getting started with your geode cowl. And as always, the link to this pattern is in the description box below. We have been so thrilled to announce this pattern to you, and I hope you have an absolute blast making your unique version. And I will see you next time. Bye.